Oh! I might have found the problem. I guess we have a tricky one here. I got this from a guy. He said he'd pull it. It would kick over, but that's as far as it would go. It wouldn't run, but it will kick over. It's got spark. It's getting fuel. You can see that purge bulbs pumping right through, full. He messed with the fuel lines, took the carburetor apart, cleaned it, put it back on. Same thing. Got a new carburetor for it, an aftermarket one, put it back on, and it does the same thing. It's got fresh fuel in it, new fuel filter, and actually this saw is pretty new. Maybe not in age, but it hasn't been used that much. This is the original blade, still on it, still sharp. And he couldn't figure out what's wrong with it. So I said, well, let me take it, take a look at it, see if I can figure anything out before you throw it away. Let's do it. I guess the first thing to do is try to start it. Hit the purge bulb. Turn it to on. Choke on. Got good compression. I guess that's what he says it'll do. I'll go half choke. Choke off. Choke on. Well, let's take it apart and see what's up. Obviously, we got spark, and he said it has spark. Must be a fuel problem. Let me disconnect the kill wire. I doubt that's it, but doesn't hurt to check. While I've got it here, I'll go ahead and check for spark real quick. A little wet, which is a good sign that's getting fuel. Spark. Check the fuel filter. Oh boy, that's tight. Fuel line looks new, nice and flexible. Filter looks okay. I'll blow it out just in case. There's no restriction on this at all. It's got to be a fuel problem, I would think. I guess we'll go ahead and take that cover off. Double check the fuel lines. Well, first I'm going to check the supply line, make sure it's not clogged or anything.
wide open. I just don't think it's getting fuel. I'm just wondering if it could be a cracked fuel line not allowing it to get fuel. So I drain the gas out of the tank, pull the filter out. So that comes up through there and over. Oh! I might have found the problem. This fuel line is way down at the bottom of the tank. Way down at the bottom of the tank, meaning it comes up out over here. And it is running to the purge bulb over here and then out into here. And I think this is the line that should be supplying fuel. Let me see where that goes. Ah! This is the return line here. This is the return line here. It just stubs, stubs down into the tank. I can feel it right up here. So this is the return line, and they had it hooked up where the supply line should be from the filter. So this one needs to come off the purge bulb. Okay, this one needs to come off the purge bulb. I don't know if you can see this. This one needs to come off the purge bulb. This one needs to go onto the purge bulb. It's the return. All right, I'm going to explain this to you in a simple way, not to make it too confusing. But the guy that had this chainsaw had all three lines hooked up wrong. I'm going to show you how to hook it up right. I'll show you mainly the one that was hooked up wrong is this, the return to the tank. Now this line here just stubs in the tank about that far. It's just a return line, just drains back into the tank. Well, here's our supply line from the filter in the tank. That's got to be supplying the carburetor. Well, the way they had it, this line came over here to the primer bulb, and this line that's hooked up to the primer bulb now that just stubs into the tank was hooked up to the supply side of the carburetor. So this carburetor sits in here like this. This is the supply side of the carburetor. And this little stub line was hooked up there. So if the tank was full, maybe it was sucking just enough fuel in there to get it to fire like it was. Well, obviously that didn't work. And then this side here is the return side. And that hooks up to your purge bulb, the shorter connector down there. And this is the pull side of the primer bulb or purge bulb. So what that does, that's hooked up to the carburetor like this. When you hit the primer bulb, that's sucking fuel this way and then pushing it up and back into the tank. And it's pulling on this side, the supply side, and pulling the fuel through the carburetor. And that's how you get your carburetor primed so you can start it. So now we've got this all straightened out. The longer stub on the purge bulb or the primer bulb is the return side. So that's pushing air. It's pushing fuel back into the tank. The shorter connector on the primer bulb is the pull side. And that's pulling fuel from the tank from the fuel filter and that line through the carburetor 
through the primer bulb and back into the tank. So they had all three of them wrong and mainly this supply was wrong. So we'll put it back together and hook it up right. This supply line hooks up right here. Perfect. We'll slide this back on and this line here is the return and slide that on slide it in everything's free no pinched lines we can put this back together this clip you just hook it in here like that and then you have to pull your throttle here and push this forward and you can slide that back in that hole there. Easy as that. It's our choke lever. It just slides in here. There we go. Slide that on over those two bolts. Beautiful. Throw our two nuts back on. And this screw back in. You want to get this good and snug. You don't want any air leaking there, but not too tight. Because you can bust this. A lot of aluminum parts in here. But if this is loose, it will not run well because you're going to have an air leak in there. Good. On off switch. Choke. Good. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. The big test. This leaks here. They got a bad rubber o ring on there. But our purge bulb's working well. Choke on. Saw on. adjusting and off we go. happened is the homeowner tried to work on this and they couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start. Maybe they pulled the carburetor off and thought they'd clean it or something. When they put it back together they hooked the fuel lines up backwards. Simple as that. So ended up getting another carburetor and messing with a whole bunch of stuff but that was the problem with this. Now she runs great. Let's put it back together. Well, here's the moral of the story. You take the carburetor off, pay very careful attention to how the fuel lines are hooked up, and you don't get them reversed. It's a real common problem that people run into. If this video was to help you, give her a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please consider subscribing, and I look forward to helping you with other projects online. <laughs> You want to set the idle so the chain's not moving. 